between, uh, you know, former IRGC general, head of the Quds Force, Gossam Soleimani, and head of ISIS, uh, Abu Bakr al Baghdadi, who do you think was the worst terriest? I say this word because of YouTube being sensitive. You can see the full word right down there. By the way, I hope you agree that if Trump did one thing right, it was erasing these mofos from existence. <laughs> um, actually, Armin does support the assassination of Ghassan Soleimani. You, you, you do agree that yes. that is one of the best things that Trump did. Yes, but I don't. I okay, that one I give Trump credit for. There's a few things that Trump did right, but I don't give much credit for him uh, doing the Abu Bakr al Baghdadi. Like that was like, that was like people. Like it wasn't okay, so it happened while Trump was in power, right? But people, intelligence operations and the, trying to find him was ongoing before Trump, and they were just those are that was just his own uh, military, you know, infrastructure that is involved separate for the office of presidency hunting him down. That was just happening independently. I don't think it had much to do with Trump ordering it or anything like that, right? The Ghassim Soleimani assassination had, you know, Trump was involved in like, yeah, okay, do that, you know? I don't know how much um, involved he was in the planning process, but he uh, he had to, it was his decision to go about doing it. So, yeah, we could give... You could give credit for him to that uh, for that, but that's the only like well, that's a, one of the few things. I, I guess you could also give Trump credit for the Abrahamic Accord. That's a good thing he did. Uh, what else? I give him credit for something. And most of the things that Trump did was horrible. Okay, the most devastating Trump had done. One of the most devastating Trump things that Trump has done uh, is pulling out the, out of the Paris, you know, uh, climate change uh, deal. You know, talks. Um, also support uh, increasing the support for Saudi Arabia with their war in Yemen. That's one of the most devastating things that Trump has done. But yeah, I think there was a third thing that I said Trump did okay. Um, but these are the two that I remember. The Abrahamic Accord um, and also this. So the question is between Qasem Soleimani and Abu, Bak Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, who do you think was the worst terrorist? I mean, it has to be al-Baghdadi. I mean, I guess, like, if I say Qasem Soleimani, it would be because I'm biased as an Iranian and being exposed more to noticing and seeing the devastation that people like Qasem Soleimani are responsible for. But if you want to be honest, it's not even comparable. Al-Baghdadi, like, broke the planet for a while. You know what I mean? Like the whole institution that was <laughs> ISIS was like it, it. It just it came and went. It was like a Mongol empire. It just like broke everything. It it broke Europe. It broke politics around the world. It changed elections. It's responsible for. I don't. It could be responsible for Trump coming into power. Um, it, it brought a far right right leaning politicians and parties became popular. Across Europe, um, economies were, you know, Brexit. It's responsible for Brexit. So I don't know if Marine Le Pen wins in France, it could, it's responsible for that, you know? And if that happens, then Europe could break apart. European Union could like be damaged, you know? I mean, we're still experiencing the devastation from, from like it's endless. It's like, I can't even imagine if we want to keep adding all the costs associated with Baghdadi. It's like unbelievably, the effects are unbelievable. So yeah, that's my answer. What do you think? Yeah, I think they're they're very different in their own ways, especially considering that Qasem Soleimani was like, you know, um, a, a part of a government, like a government official. He had different abilities and power to execute different things um the it, it really depends on um how you quantify worst you know in terms of like sheer brutality is it in terms of people killed is it in terms of how they were killed is it in terms of um 
how many lives generally affected? Is it in terms of methods? Is it in terms of cumulative global impact? Um, there's so many different ways you can answer that question. It, it's tough. It's tough. Um, so okay, I let, see. Wait, let me oh. just uh, PK. I see you're asking a question about Susanna. Please don't ask questions about uh, where we are. Okay, like I see the Susanna question. Please do not like um, ask personal questions about uh, anything. You know because it's employment. not good. Okay, employment, our family members, our locations. These are things that we don't want to talk about on the stream. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.